Welcome back. In part one, I gave an overview of the channel bands available on Cisco Business Wireless CBW access points and how proper selection can minimize interference and maximize performance. In this second of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain some configuration options on your CBW access point. Next. Today, I'll be configuring these settings on a CBW 150 access point. Log in and navigate to the access point menu. In this example, you can see the primary AP is operating on channel one, while the mesh extender operates on channel 11. Clicking on an access point will show the channels selected for both the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz radios. Troubleshooting options are available to identify nearby access points that could interfere with your device. The RF troubleshoot tool displays neighboring and rogue access points, helping you find sources of interference that might degrade performance. By hovering over an access point, you can view its channels and signal strength. The tool also offers insights into non-Wi-Fi interference sources under the Clean Air Interferer section. Under the Advanced menu, select RF Optimization. If you aren't in Expert view, click the bidirectional arrows in the top right corner and click OK to confirm. Now you can scroll down and see several options, including Interferer Detection, which is disabled by default. I have enabled it. This feature helps identify nearby interference sources. To check for interferers, navigate to the Monitoring tab and click on Interferers to see any nearby sources. Although nothing shows in this example, you can verify the details for rogue access points by clicking on them. To change the channel settings on an access point, go to the Wireless Settings, select the access point, and click Edit. You'll see two radios, one for the 2.4 GHz band, and one for the five gigahertz band. Channels can be set to automatic or manually selected from available options. Manually selecting channels can be complex if you aren't familiar with them. Automatic channel selection allows your access point to choose the best channel by scanning the environment to find the least congested one. This improves performance, ensuring your network runs smoothly. It also offers adaptability, as the access point can adjust the channel to maintain optimal performance as the environment changes, such as when new networks appear. Consider using automatic channel selection if you are unsure about which ones to choose. It simplifies the setup process and optimizes performance. A few things to note. In the five gigahertz band, some channels are marked as DFS, dynamic frequency selection, which means they automatically adjust to avoid interference. If you are not using mesh extenders in your network, this can be disabled. Automatic channel assignments are supported in non-mesh deployments. Once you've made your selection, click Apply to save the changes. Repeat for all access points. Be sure to click the Save icon to save all new configurations. Now that you understand the types of interference you might encounter and how to choose appropriate settings, you can create a network that supports productivity and seamless communication through your CBW access point. If you'd like more information on wireless radio frequencies, check out Cisco's reference guide. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.